Welcome back, Mr. Maurer here again. Your asynchronous task two is talking about box plots, something you've seen in the past, but it's a good review, and it's, we're going to ask you some higher level thinking questions towards the end. Um, so you're going to be in the task completing a series of box plot practice problems, starting with some review in case you forgot how they work, and ending with some higher level thinking problems. So keep in mind, we are just focusing on how do we create and interpret box plots. So what are you going to actually do? Starting out with Khan Academy, got a couple different videos here for you to watch. Uh, creating a box plot with an odd number of data points, and then creating a box plot with an even number of data points. Just nice to see it spelled out. What do you do when you have to find the middle number for the median? And then how do you find the quartiles? Then you've got a little bit of practice. Should take about 10 minutes or so to do the practice on the Khan Academy, and then wrapping up that review section with a article to read about five minutes or so i would expect uh, remember you can pause and speed up the videos you can use the hint function on the practice problems and of course write down any questions or problems you need help with and bring those back to your teacher then you're going to do a desmos box plot exploration so this gets a little bit more high level towards the end um, i think it helps you see some pros and cons of box plots It'll take about half an hour to work on that and last, remember, you're going to finish up with your reflection, which should be just on a Google form for you to complete. All right. Enjoy creating and interpreting box plots.